good morning guys. Um, I just wanted to share a little insight from the Lord this morning. So Lord, anoint my words and uh, prepare our hearts to receive what you have for us, God. Um, unfold this word further and give us understanding in the spirit. Give us eyes and ears to hear what your spirit is speaking, Lord. Um, and um, we love you so much. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, so, uh, starting, I think it's been two weeks um, ago, um, this word just kept popping up everywhere <laughs> for me. Um, and I love when the Lord does this. And um, sometimes it's a word I know. Sometimes it's a word I don't know. Sometimes it's a word I hear and I don't really use. And so, um, I think it's really fun when it's one that I'm not familiar with or that I don't know. And I have to even go look it up where the Lord keeps bringing it in and I'm like what is that I need to know what that is and I I just feel that urging in my spirit that I need to investigate it so I know the Lord's teaching me something well it started happening this time with the word consecrate and consecration and so for learning purposes <clears throat> I it first came up um I was talking to a pastor that I had just met and we were talking and the word consecrate came up and um, it piqued my interest because not a lot of people use that word, you know, I don't hear that word often. And so when I went back into my car, I looked it up and I was like, oh, okay, you know, <clears throat> da, 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 whatever. And then I was just kind of mulling it over with the Lord. And then um, it kept coming up. Like I heard it, um, <clears throat> you know, on uh, some ministry videos. I started seeing it in my Bible and um, different things. And um, there's the natural phenomenon or phenomena of when you see something, you start seeing it everywhere, you know, but this is not that I'm mulling it over with the Lord. And yes, he's speaking that to me. Um, and at the same time, it's not a common word. <laughs> and so, um, anyways, I've just been laughing every time it pops up. I'm like, okay, Lord, I see you. And so, um, as I've been praying about it and just mulling it over with him, I looked it up and man, I didn't bring the definition with me um, of what it is. So if this resonates in your spirit and the Lord is, you know, wanting to develop this in you, then go ahead and look up the word. But the general meaning of um, what I found was that it means to prepare yourself um, to meet God. So in a um, spiritual setting, prepare yourself to meet God. And he's been unfolding that we are to prepare ourselves inside and out. And it's actually interesting because I just shared that video, uh, the hospital and rat dream. Um, and he's talking about, um, you know, there was, there was talking about cleaning things up, sanitizing ourselves inside and out. And um, so I want to be careful to stress that the Lord doesn't say, um, you know, clean yourself up, get everything right, and then I'll save you and I'll cover you in my blood. That's not what he says. He just says, turn to me. And as soon as we call on the name of the Lord, he will save us and he will cover us in his blood. But he does walk us through the sanitation process, the sanctification process, the consecration process, getting us ready on the inside and the out to meet God. So um, he's been unfolding that, that getting us ready to meet God in the secret place, in the private place where we go and meet with him, where we go and pray with him, wherever that may be, getting ourselves to meet with God at any worship service that we go to. Um, hold on one second. And ultimately getting ourselves ready um, to meet God face to face on the day that we go home to be with him for eternity. And all of these other times that we're um, consecrating ourselves, they're all preparing us and leading up to that final consecration. And so it's been really cool and interesting. Um, and um, yeah, I just wanted to pass that along. I was reading, oh gosh, I think it was, it was Genesis or Exodus. Um, and I was even reading about um, when the Lord called the people to come to the mountain to meet with him, um, he had them consecrate themselves on the inside and the outside. Um, he even had them um, wash their clothing and abstain from sexual intimacy before coming to meet with him. So um, that was a great example of 
consecrating ourselves on the outside to meet with God and how in my last video about the dream talking about how God wants us to be clean on the inside and the outside not so that he will love us not so that he will save us he already loves us and he saves us the minute we call on his name okay um, but then he walks with us and carries us to clean us up because sin has made a mess of all of our lives in one way or another because we're born into it okay so super interesting I just feeling like the Lord wanted me to pass that along. Um, and then also one other thing. Oh yes. The one other thing that I wanted to tack on is, um, that the Lord showed me and even I've experienced, um, how, so how we see in scripture, how he wants us to be clean. Um, and again, I thought it was very noteworthy that they didn't put on, um, it wasn't that he was calling them to be fancy <laughs> and dress fancy was calling them to be clean, okay, um, clean and holy, set apart, um, pure and spotless bride, um, but what I've learned, um, is that actually people who, if you find yourself or you know somebody who struggles, okay, to keep themselves clean, to keep, um, their living quarters clean, um, there can be demonic oppression happening in one form or another um, because um, just how God's side is clean and orderly, Satan's side is the opposite. So if you see people who have tried and tried and tried, or if you're that person, you've tried and tried and tried to get clean, even to get some level of organization you know, if it's hard for you, even hygiene in your body, like it's like, man, you fight yourself every time you have to shower or every time you have to brush your teeth and you're like, man, I'm an adult. What's the problem here? Well, you can be dealing with um, demon oppression and I had that demon oppression. And so when I was freed from that demon oppression, wow, the Lord was showing me like, I didn't even know that was possible. You know, even in um, keeping my living quarters um, tidier and cleaner. So I'm going to use the word tidy, organized, and clean. They're all a little bit different. But those can all be symptoms of demon oppression. They're also symptoms, they can also be symptoms of trauma. Um, but a lot of times, most of the time, demon oppression enters us and enters our lives through that very trauma. Okay? So don't look past that. If you're dealing with those things in your life, pray to the Lord for clarification. And then um, you may need some deliverance from these demonic things, whether they're oppressing you from the outside or whether they're oppressing you because they've entered into your soul and your flesh um, through sinful things. Um, sinful things that we do is how they come in, but also sinful things done against us. And so um, I just want to pass this along. May the Lord bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you and bring you freedom in any and every area where you know you need it, where you know you're held captive, and even in those areas where you don't even know that you've been held captive or that you've been oppressed or that there's help and freedom out. I want everyone to find that pathway of freedom that the Lord has for you. In Jesus' name, amen.